So review of the resources. Uh, we chose organizational environments and company culture because um, every company has a culture. And if you have a good culture, it helps your business run smoothly and uh, employs, um, reduces employee turnover so that people aren't just coming and leaving and you're not letting money go to waste. Uh, and we did that by showing you the organizational environments impacted, how they're by the internal and external forces, external being uh, political factors, what happens whenever new policies go into effect, or sociocultural norms, how everything is changing in the world, and internal with how people work together and if they're a good fit, and if you can get along with everyone that's there and build relationships with people. And so that's what the introduction really talks about a little bit. And next you have early concept application, which is the history. And uh, Dr. Elliot Jaka has actually introduced the term organizational culture in 1951. And uh, we go over that, Connor does a little bit. And uh, you also talk, we also talk about how the fair treatment, leadership, accountability, and authority, and basically everything that like, what constitutes organizational culture. And uh, Connor found those by uh, search engineering early applications of organizational culture and what started the old early organiz organizational culture rush. And he went through some links, found some that weren't as good, and found the two that he used to find Dr. Elliot Jaquez and also the second leak, which was Edgar Sheen. And he talks about the, uh, the, set of, the, the set of values that has norms related to it. And this is basically the unique subcultures and all of the communication between people, how that will go, and social norms of coworkers and basically how every, everyone can interact with uh, different cultures. And for modern day applications, uh, these articles were found from the uh, module section and uh, it, the book talks about people's cultures and diversifying the workplace and that mental health and healthy work-life balance is really what people want now. And um, we talk through that by going how culture is projected through behaviors, attitudes, belief. It is important to build trust at every level within an organization, just basically everyone working together so that you have the perfect balance of work and culture within the workplace. And for the current examples, we went through good and bad, and um, we found those basically just by Google searching, figuring out what was good, what was bad, um, what's still alive, what's working. Amazon uh, is the number one uh, company to work at in 2022 because of the pandemic and everything. Netflix is at 70% uh, work at, people want you to work at from Glassdoor, and Google was number seven at places to work at in 2022. And the three bads, Toys R Us and Radio Shack, they're dying. Toys R Us is dead. Radio Shack, it, I haven't seen one in a long, in a long time. And Kodak, he, he's destroyed his reputation just of what he's done. And so that's basically what you got the bad from. And so those are the, uh, the review of the resources and how we found everything, basically from articles and in the modules and some from outside sources, but uh, yeah, those are it.